Day 22, start of week 4, Red Ranger Broiler. As you can see, they're getting huge. Well, most of their feathers are coming in. They like to hang out down here. They like to hang out in here. Some of them like to hang out in here. This is where all the food and the water is. I ended up having to raise their water bar. They were having to bend over to, to get up underneath of it to drink it. They're just growing so fast. They're eating a little over four trays of food a day. I'm still only having to fill up their uh, five gallon bucket once a day. The weather needs to stay warm so that I can finally get them on pasture where they belong. So I don't have to continually put down new bedding every two days. Day 23, Red Ranger Broiler. As you can see, they're getting huge. They like coming in and out. Wow, look at them. Ooh. Scary. I might not be able to open this up anymore. Whoa. They're ready to get out of here for sure. Careful, careful, careful. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. All right, I'm going to have to stop the video now and uh, put them away, and I will start it again. <laughs> Day 23, Red Ranger Broilers. As you can see, they're in their new tractor. It's four by four. They're eating a little less than four trays of food a day. Since I've been turning off the light at night, they seem to be eating a little bit less. I got their waterer set up out here. This awesome little tractor inspired by Joe Salatin and Justin Rhodes. I have 28 birds. Those of, that have been watching know that I ordered 30. Apparently I got 32 because I had four that died. But I still have 28 birds, so apparently they sent me 32. Which is awesome of them. They're loving it. They're dust bathing themselves over here. Some are eating, some are drinking, some are laying down. But they they seem to be loving their new tractor. Day 24, Red Ranger broilers. As you can see, I put down hay where their tractor was yesterday. I'll continue to add carbon and to their nitrogen and continue to improve the soil so that generations of chickens will have luscious grass and weeds and other things to, to chew on. I seem to be loving it. They're always running around, making nice chirping noises. They're getting big. They haven't had a heat lamp in three days. They're doing really well. A lot of their feathers are coming in. They still got bald spots under their wings and stuff like that, but they're definitely growing. When I was feeding them earlier, one of them had no problem jumping up two foot to get to the top. So, I'm going to have to be quicker on putting stuff in and taking stuff out. I noticed today that one of the chicken nipples was sticking. And they were about out of water. I just changed it out and filled up their water. So, hopefully everything is going to be good. The tractor I wanted to build for them is 
10 foot by 6 foot. That would be perfect for 28 birds. Day 25, Red Ranger broilers. As you can see, I, I moved them again, putting down hay afterward, watering it down so that any seeds that were there will grow again and make my topsoil thicken up, hopefully. They're still eating right about four trays of food a day. I had one that ended up dead today. When I was constructing this, I uh, put in boards in these little area slots that I knew were there. But what I forgot to do was to fill in this area here. I'm not sure really what got it, but its head was completely gone. <sighs> mistakes we make. The unintentional mistakes we make kind of suck, but it's fixed now and shouldn't be an issue any longer. Day 26, Red Ranger Broilers. They've had their third move. They're eating about four trays of food a day. They like to be on video. Nothing was able to get to them today. I'm probably going to have to make their tractor a little bit bigger, probably within a week or two. But as long as I move them every day, they're fine now. Most all of their feathers are in on their back. Some of them are starting to come in on their neck. Some of them are a bit darker than others. I don't know whether that's roosters and hens or whether some of them are just a little bit behind the other ones or not. It's my first time with this breed. It's my first time with uh, broilers, period, actually. I've been raising egg layers for about four years. Pretty much the same at this point. Make sure they have heat and food and water at the beginning and make sure they have food and water and are able to get on fresh grass every day. Day 27, Red Ranger Broilers. They're still eating about four trays of food a day, but I'm filling up their water every day when I move them. Most all of their feathers are in on their backs still coming in on their necks. Red Ranger Broilers, day 28, end of week four. They're in their Joel Salatin and Justin Rhodes inspired tractor, and I can make bigger as they grow. They're all doing really good. They're all looking really healthy, eating about four trays of food a day, drinking plenty of water. They're adjusting to the moves a lot better now. The first couple of times I tried to move the tractor, they were trying to get run over by it, it seemed. But they're figuring it out. They're getting, getting the hang of it. Well, that's the end of week four. Stay tuned until next week. I want to thank you for watching. Ask that you subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. Hit that bell. That way you'll be notified when I put out new videos.